class we discuss about reciprocity theorem. Reciprocity means a relation of mutual dependence, action or influence. This theorem is useful to analyze electrical networks and the antenna system. That is the main application of this theorem. This theorem states that if a source of EMF E or current I located at one point in a circuit containing linear bilateral elements produces a current I or voltage V at another point in the circuit the same voltage E or current I acting at the second point will produce the same current I or voltage V at the first point that is a statement of reciprocity theorem limitations number one this theorem is applicable only to single source network not to a multiple source network number two it is applicable only when the circuit has one independent voltage or current source number three the networks should not have any time bearing element these are all the limitations of reciprocity theorem now you see the proof of reciprocity theorem here four resistors and one voltage source are connected as shown in figure we have to find what is the voltage across the resistor R4. This is V, a source voltage. There are two loops. This is loop 1, this is loop 2. This current is IS, this current is I2. These three resistors, R2, R3, R4, all are connected in parallel with the R1. Using current division rule, I2 is equal to IS into R1 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. I can easily find V0. V0 is equal to I2 into R4. I know I2. I2 is equal to IS into R1 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. Therefore, V0 is equal to IS into R1 into R4 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. Next, I interchange the source. That is, here I am connecting the source across R4. And I want to find what is the response at R1. That is the voltage across R1. This is A, this is A dash, this is B, this is B dash. This is Vs. Again, there are two loops. This loop current is Is dash. This loop current is I2 dash. Using current division rule, I2 dash is equal to Is dash into R4 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. Now I can find V0. V0 is equal to I2 dash into R1. I know I2 dash. I2 dash is equal to is dash into r4 divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 therefore iv0 is equal to is dash into r1 into r4 divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 according to the reciprocity theorem the ratio of response to excitation is same in both cases now we will work out one problem on reciprocity theorem the given circuit consists of four resistors 10 ohm, 20 ohm, 8 ohm and 2 ohm. An ammeter is connected in series with the 2 ohm resistor and the circuit is energized by 100 volt independent voltage source. The question is find the ammeter reading. First step we have to find the total resistance. The 8 ohm and 2 ohm are connected in series therefore the total resistance is 8 plus 2 that is equal to 10 ohms. The 10 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the 20 ohm resistor. Therefore, the equivalent resistance is 20 into 10 divided by 10 plus 20. That is equal to 200 by 30. That is equal to 6.67. The 6.67 ohm resistor is connected in series with the 10 ohm resistor. Therefore, total resistance is 10 plus 6.67. That is equal to 16.67 ohms. Now, we can find the total current. I is equal to V by R. V is given 100. R is equal to 16.67 therefore I is equal to 6 amps here current towards uh, junction A is 6 amps I can find what is the voltage drop in the 10 ohm resistor the voltage drop is 6 into 10 that is equal to 60 volts therefore voltage appear across AB is equal to 100 minus 60 that is equal to 40 volts this is 40 volts Therefore, I can easily find what is the current flow in the 20 ohm resistor. I is equal to V by R. 40 by 20, that is equal to 2 amps. Again, the 10 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the 20 ohm resistor. Therefore, the in parallel circuit voltage is constant. Therefore, 40 by 10 is equal to 4 amps. 
So the ambient reading is 4 amps. Current 2 is 66. Current living is 62 plus 4. That is equal to 6. Kirchhoff's current law is verified. According to reciprocity theorem, I interchange the ammeter and the voltage source. Here, I connect the voltage source in series with the 2 ohm resistor and I connect the ammeter in series with the 10 ohm resistor. Again, I have to find the total resistance. Here, this 10 ohm and 20 ohm are connected in parallel. Therefore, 20 into 10 divided by 10 plus 20, that is equal to 200 by 13, that is equal to 6.67. The 6.67 resistor is in series with the 8 and 2 ohm resistor. Therefore, total resistance is 8 plus 2 plus 6.67 that is equal to 16.67 ohms. I can find current I is equal to V by R. 100 divided by 16.67 that is equal to 6 amps. Current towards the junction is A is equal to 6. Now, what is the voltage drop in the 8 ohm and 2 ohm resistor? I can find this is 6. 8 into 6 that is equal to 48. And 2 into 6 that is equal to 12. 48 plus 12 is equal to 60 volts. Therefore, voltage across AB is equal to 100 minus 60 that is equal to 40 volts. Therefore, current flow in the 20 ohm resistor is 40 by 20 that is equal to 2 amps. And uh, 10 ohm resistor is 40 by 10 that is equal to 4 amps. Current towards uh, junction is 6 and current leaving the junction is 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Here the ammeter reading is 4 amps. Here, in this circuit, the ammeter reading is 4 amps. Here, by interchanging the voltage source and ammeter, the current reading is same. Both are same. Here, the reciprocity theorem is verified. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.